make the, you know what I mean? You know, this is basically just another what not to do in the pro shop. Take me to Candyland, sweeter than sugar, you doing that dancey dance. Today I'm gonna be making a new thumb or a couple new thumbs. How I make them is I put a mold into an it. So this is my mold, this is the shape of my thumb. I guess I do it a bit differently than some other people and I've gotten a couple comments just asking. I make them. If you're an entry level bowler, this thumb actually can go inside your bowling ball. Twist in. This is the Vice interchangeable thumb. Shout out Vice. You can see it in the reflection. Let's do it. The mold, you can see it's like the light brown color here. It goes inside this it, the sleeve. Let me show you. This is what it'll go inside. The sleeve's just empty. Compared to this, this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay. This is what we're gonna use to make the mold itself. The Vice CS Hybrid Ball Plug. Two parts, hardener and then the resin. And I'm going to mix it up in a cup if I can find one. Somebody else had ball plug in here. That's what it looks like. I guess they're doing purple. I think that was Justin actually. This is satisfying. My favorite part. Oh, looks like that. It's clean. I went to look for a cap for the bottle or whatever it is. Came back. Two more ones. Okay. We'll get to those in a second. Gonna do about 30 ounces of the resin and then 30 ounces of the hardener. So we're actually doing it backwards. Doing it part BA rather than AB. I'm gonna put the mold inside of here. It fits perfectly. So it kinda closes at the bottom. I get the mold so it's pretty centered around here so that you don't have like half of the thumb. You know what I mean? Mix this up. <laughs> That's what we got. I kind of messed up because I got the hardener around the top, but I think since it's such a thin layer, I can just kind of chip it out when it's dry. But now we wait about 30 minutes. And this is the remnants I had. I don't think I needed as much as I did. And now I get to drill a couple new balls that I got for my college arsenal. I got a new Zen, as you know, it's in my my intro, you see it. Every video, I threw it a lot at Nationals, a lot in Dubai. And then I'm also gonna add this ball to my arsenal as a four ball, as we call it, kind of as like a weaker ball, a ball for later in the day when we need to open up our angles, need something a little quicker. RSTX2, shout out to Storm, Roto Grip Global, they are our sponsor. Uh, for bowling balls and bowling equipment, and we really appreciate them. Let's show these up. drilled up that zen over there and now we're gonna get this out of um the this we're gonna get this out what we made okay so i'm just gonna hammer it out <laughs> this is basically just another what not to do in the pro shop because when drilling my Zen, I drilled too deep, so the it sat really low. It was just wrong. But I did hammer this out, so now that's what we got. We're just gonna take it out, push it out. Just pulls right out. Mold just comes out like that. It's my thumb. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little tick mark, and you line it up with this on the thumb, I believe. I don't know. I normally ask a friend to hammer it in for me because I'm scared I'm not gonna quite get it dead on. 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna make another one of these because I always like to have three or four thumbs with me just in case like in Dubai one of them breaks. So I'm gonna make another one of these. And then this is what I did with my Zen. Since I drilled too deep, I just um, half plugged it with quick plug. Again, the same two that we used before. I did 15 ounces and 15 ounces. So now we're gonna drill the RSTX one, or two, RSTX two.